Todd Dunn here on May 18, 2018. I'm aboard my sailboat Sequester and today I'm just going to take a look at the performance of my new Victron 7510 MPPT charge controller. We'll start out by going on deck and I'll show you the solar panels and the cable that goes down to the charge controller. Then we'll look at the charge controller itself and where it goes in to connect to the batteries. These are the solar panels I have aboard Sequester here. They're two 20 watt monocrystalline solar panels wired together in parallel. The cable for them is a number 14 uh, Ancor tinned marine grade wire. Comes out here, goes back under the dodger and about a foot and a half back from the edge of the dodger, it goes through the deck. Now we'll go below and take a look at where it goes from there. Inside the boat, the wire comes through the cabin top, goes along the side of the companionway, down, and aft toward the battery box. Let's see if I can move over here and get a little less. And then we'll crawl under there and take a look at where it goes from there. Here we are in the quarter berth. You can see the cable running along the top there and down to the charge controller with uh, steady blue LED showing which means that it is in bulk charge mode. And then from the charge controller goes down into the battery box. This is one of two battery boxes here. This one contains three group 31 uh, flooded lead acid batteries. And then in the back back there there are two more. So they're 120 amp hours each so we have 600 amp hours of batteries all together that are being charged. Now that we've seen the physical solar setup, let's take a look at the performance so far. The boat went in on the 15th, a little over 75 hours ago, but there have been a couple of nights intervening. Went in on Tuesday and it's now Friday. And I've got my smartphone here, which I will link to the solar charge controller via Bluetooth. We're getting 36 watts from the panels. Panels are currently operating at about 17.6 volts. Voltage in the battery bank is 14.3. It's just gone into the absorption mode. It was in bulk a few minute, a minute ago. And it currently it's charging at two and a half amps. And that's pretty much where we are. I can also look at the history. And these are the histograms that show up on a daily basis showing how much power you've uh, gotten out of the solar panels. Remember this is 40 watts of solar. We launched on Tuesday. On that day the build, boat was in a building until 8.30 in the morning when it was pulled out. It was an overcast rainy day and we still got 120 watt hours out of the panels. That's equivalent to three hours of full sun. Wednesday was sunnier and we got 290 watt hours out of the panels, equivalent to a little over seven hours of full sun. And Thursday, the batteries reached full charge and the system went into float. So we only actually and the, turned down the output from the solar panels and we got 120 watt hours. And so far today, we've gotten 120 watt hours and it's getting pretty close to being in float. Matter of fact, it has already, it was in bulk mode for four hours, 19 minutes, absorption mode for one hour, two minutes, and it has been in float mode for two hours and 45 minutes. So the batteries are fully charged again. I did spend the night on the boat last night and ran the propane heater. Uh, we ran the stove and we ran lights and there was, so we weren't, uh, careful about power usage so but it had certainly replaced everything by a couple of hours ago and it's now a little after one o'clock so it's keeping up with our needs quite adequately even with only 40 watts of panel this is a sailboat though and one of the disadvantages of solar on a sailboat is that there's no place on the boat where solar panels won't be at least partly shaded part of the time the boat is currently facing south, so we are getting shaded a little bit by the mainmast, which is 
south of the panels, which is going to affect output. So that summarizes how well my Victron 7510 MPPT charge controller is working so far. It's getting the maximum power out of my solar panels and uh, doing a good job of charging my batteries. And if it was sunny all the time like it was on Wednesday, we could get you know, 290, 300 watt hours of solar out of those two 20 watt panels each day. So even if we draw the batteries down quite a bit, we could potentially put as much as 140 amp hours back into the batteries. Of course, they won't charge up by that much because of charging efficiency, particularly since they're normally going to be up near the top of their charge range. So we might only be able to replace 70 to 80 amp hours. But still, that is more than we use in the two days or so a week that we use the boat. So these solar panels with the MPPT controller will keep up with our use and keep our batteries pretty much fully charged all season long. Now a question you might ask is, is it justified to spend the hundred and some dollars for an MPPT charge controller when you only have 40 watts of solar? Well, I would say yes it is, particularly since I intend to keep this boat in the long run. I've already had it for 22 years and I don't see getting rid of it anytime soon. So that $100 investment uh, is going to pay off over the years in that I will get 20 to 30% more power out of my solar panels than I would with a PWM controller. And I, to me, that's definitely worth it, even though I don't have very much solar capacity on the boat. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you want to click on the little bell next to it, you'll get notifications of my next video. Okay, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed it.